Hello my beautiful and amazing people, badass Dark Zone agent, Uncle Butcher in the building with another barbecue chicken build, but today we are gonna use the Bighorn Exotic Assault Rifle. This bad boy I think deserves some love and we are gonna make out of the box hybrid build with Bighorn which absolutely claps! Big juicy booty cheeks like there is no tomorrow just the way you love it like i said it has really good dps in my other videos and you can basically use its scope to make some nasty headshot damage or headshots and right now with golden bullet evan this weapon can cause some mayhem so as usual if you love insanity welcome to my channel uncle butcher in the building if you are new here hit that like smash that sub or leave a hateful comment it truly depends on your preference in any case just welcome to the family man i'm glad you are here and clicked on this video and i will try my best to explain this build as easy as i can because some synergies here are kind of hard to understand especially if you're a new player but don't worry i will hold your hand we're gonna get to this together the main thing that we are using exotic assault rifle big horn how you can get this bad boy by completing a legendary strongholds by completing you can gain you have chance of to drop this uh, assault rifle and also from the boss kills at the end of any stronghold. But before we continue, quick word they sponsor Diving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Diving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. If you will use my promo code RBD or RBD. You will receive 15% discount on absolutely all services, amazing deal, especially right now. They have some crazy sales going on, so definitely check these guys out. But now let's get back to this big horn build. Like I said at my intro, you can find this weapon by completing legendary strongholds. And if you are doing daily legendary runs like I'm doing, most likely you have already this bad boy in your stash but if not couple of runs maybe five six runs and you should get this bad boy it has really cool feature you can use it in two modes in simple mode and in scope mode in scope mode you will deal more headshot damage it's absolutely nasty for specialization though since it's hybrid build we will use technician specialization why because technician specialization will give us additional skill tier really important disrupt grenades extremely handy against legendary dogs mini tanks healing station drugs all the shenanigans will be deleted from your life just your ex uh, also, don't forget that we will gain Artificial Hive for lazy players, perfect combination, use your Artificial Hive with Assault Turret and simply chill somewhere behind the cover, watch some YouTube videos or Pornhub, I don't give a damn, do whatever you want baby and enjoy the life, man. enjoy the game and don't die, because Artificial Hive will keep you alive, <laughs> I mean it will keep alive your Assault Turret and most of the time enemies will target on your assault turret and by the time you will come back to the game your assault turret will clear the room easily so also link at laser pointer attachment and uh, yeah so technician specialization is kind of must have for the main weapon i'm using big horn uh, exotic assault rifle like i said you can get it by completing a legendary strongholds for second weapon I'm using FAMAS with Optimist easily, one of my favorite assault rifles since day one, one of the best rate of fires, especially paired up with striker gear shit, 1000 RPM, that's kinda nasty, yes you could technically use shield splinter with perfect Optimist, but you don't have uh, one additional mod slot on that weapon, so you potentially are losing crit chance, and in this build we need that crit chance because our attributes are kinda locked behind skill damage 
and crit damage so it's really important to get as much crit chance as you can with your weapon and then if you're lacking in crit chance department then I would recommend you to use some crit chance mods on your gear on your mask backpack and chest piece to reach 40 40 is like a bare minimum for the pistol I'm using TDI name it pistol with in sync and this pistol will give us six skill tiers maximum possible skill tiers in the game if you will be short on ammo use your in sync uh, or TDI name it pistol with in sync you will gain skill damage buff and weapon damage buff really nice combination or actually you could use three talents in your pistol slot you could use uh, future perfection kill non elite enemy boom you have overcharged your skills so for overcharge reasons and you could use even preservation if shit will hit the fan you could equip a tdi pistol with preservation talent on why because preservation will work with skill kills so you have three different options which you could rock at any given moment it really depends on your playstyle and what you need at any given moment if you need more skill damage, you need more survivability, or in general you need some weapon damage and skill damage, then go with insane. For the rest of the gear, I'm using striker gear, Fenris chest piece with trauma. Why trauma? Because with Bighorn, we are trying to nail those headshots, and trauma will apply blind effect. And with body shots, bleed effect. Blind effect, blind effect can be extremely handy against rogue agents, hunters, bosses. Fenris chest piece by itself will give us 10% additional assault rifle damage for the holster. I'm using Picaro's name and holster. And since we are using Ninja Bag backpack in this one, Picaro's or I shall say Arcabus gear set will give us not only skill haste but as two piece brand set bonus additional skill tier so my holster alone is giving me two skill tiers pretty dope shit man and weapon damage 15 percent weapon damage absolutely gorgeous stuff ninja bike backpack will give us three core attributes skill tier um, weapon damage and armor and then for don't forget that ninja bike backpack allows us to use less gear to unlock next step in our gear set requirements. That's the reason why I can use only three striker pieces and at the same time I'm unlocking full set buffs. And striker is one of the best DPS gear sets in the game right now. And rate of fire is now not a problem in this one. So we are stacking a lot of weapon damage. At the same time we have five skill tiers with TDI pistol six skill tiers we have nasty skill damage we have crit damage and I mean this build will slap and Bighorn will give you some nasty headshot damage buffs on top of that for crowd control purposes you have bleed effect from trauma and blind effect for the skills though I'm using assault turret and striker drone striker drone can be replaced with your artificial hive butchered of the mic bye